The Women's Army Corps was strictly for support. We handled uh, a lot of clerical jobs. Basically, the, some of the jobs that men would have been forced to do, uh, say what dental assistant or uh, photographer or uh, accounting. Uh, I think they saw that women could act in a support role and do some of the jobs that men were being called upon to do, but that would release uh, these men to be able to go into more combat or the tougher jobs, you know. Well, I was in during the Cuban Missile Crisis and I was stationed right here at Fort Hood and uh, we had gotten word that until further notice, we were all restricted to the barracks. Uh, we couldn't leave the post. And uh, it, was, it was kind of scary because I didn't know what to expect. They hadn't given the wax any kind of advanced training, hey, in case of an attack, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. They were just kind of keeping us in the dark, I guess, I guess you could say. And at the time, the rumor was that there were a lot of nuclear weapons stored nearby. I don't know how much of it was true, but I've heard some of the, the stories that uh, they moved all that stuff out of there now. But that was a scary thought too. If you'd like, I can tell you about a time that they did call us during the time that the, the Russians were still moving towards the uh, Cuban bases there. Uh, they had a small group of us waxed go up and stand in front of the headquarters building and uh, stand retreat. And that was rather simple. You're just, when, as they bring the flag down, you just stand at attention and salute. And I'll tell you, it, it, was, uh, it was something I had never really felt in my life, but to see that flag coming down that pole and then uh, playing taps, you know, I think it was, and it was just, I just was so proud of my country and I was hoping that things would work out. And yes, they did. Uh, the Russians turned around and went back. So that's, that was a blessing.